Ready? All right. Y'all ready? Yeah. So, Father, we thank you for another Shabbat. We ask you right now that you may bless, touch those, Father God, those prayers in the prayer box. We lift it up, Father. We lift up every prayer, every prayer request. Touch everyone here. Touch those right now in need of prayer. As we go further, we ask you, Lord, that you bless as we go forth. Shalom. Shalom. Oh, yeah. So, y'all ready? Yeah. So, subject, he's bringing us back into the wilderness. That's the subject. He's bringing us back into the wilderness. So, Hosea 2, verse 13 and 14. visit upon her the day of Baal wherein she burned incense to them and she decked herself with her earring and her jewel and she went after her lover and forget me said the Lord 14 therefore behold I will adore her and bring her into the wilderness and speak comfortably unto her so we know that's when he talked about I will visit up on her the days of Balaam yeah. Where she burned incense. That's he's talking about the idolatry. Right. That our people is in the idolatry. True. Worshiping their gods. Yes. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what he's talking about. Cause that's a, a precept. I'll give you a precept. Okay. Cause a spiritual fornication. I believe it's in wisdom of Solomon. Uh, yes. Chapter fourteen, verse twelve. 14 verse 12. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 12. For the dividing of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication and invention of them the corruption of life. See? Yeah. That's what it's going into. Woo. Spiritual fornication is worshiping idols. Mm -mm -mm. Right? Yeah. yeah. Now go back to uh, Hosea 2 again. Okay. Same verse? Yeah. Okay. What was that? Chapter 2, verse 13. And I will visit upon her the days of Balaam, wherein she burned incense to them, and she decked herself with her earrings and her jewels. jewels. And she went after her lovers and forgot me, said the Lord. 14. Therefore, behold, I will allure her and bring her into the wilderness and speak comfortably unto her. So that right there was talking about he will lower her in the wilderness Speak comfortable with the Lord and powerful, comfortable as Christ. Yeah. 
And that's him teaching right. the laws to Israel. True. That's when he's going to bring us into the wilderness. Yeah. That's when he comes back. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So also if you go back to Ecclesiastes, we'll go to the scriptures say, uh, there's nothing new on the sun. It's what was done, we could done again, right? Okay, the regular Ecclesiastes? Yeah. Okay. Regular Ecclesiastes, one and nine. One and nine. One nine. Please access one nine. Yeah. Yeah, got it. Okay. Chapter one verse nine. The thing that have been it is which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done. There is no new thing under the sun. Say no new thing under the sun. So it'll be done again. Yeah. And if you go to Go to 3, chapter 3 in Ecclesiastes. Chapter 3 of Ecclesiastes. The same book we in. Okay. But go to uh, uh, 15. 15? Okay. Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 15. That which had been is now. And that which is to have already been. And Elohim required which is past. The most high requires the past. Meaning that it's going to happen again. What he did in the past. Gonna he's going to do it again. Right. Right? Yeah. And I'll take you to the precept to show you, you know. Yeah. Going to the wilderness. Yeah. But we, it happened again. It happened with Moses, right? Yes. So we go to... Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 4, and I'll be with 34. Okay. Chapter 4, verse 34. Yeah. It's 434. Okay. Okay. Deuteronomy 34. Okay. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 34. Or oh, have the other he a sign to go and take him a nation from the midst of another nation by temptation, by sign, by wonders, by war, and by a mighty hand, and has stretched out arm by a great terror, according to all that the Lord your Elohim did for you in Egypt before your eyes. So this goes into the, uh, the scripture when you go to Job 11, 6. Yeah. That the scripture is double meaning. Right. Wisdom. Meaning that this was talking about that time. Sure it's is. also talking about this time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because the Lord's going to do it by a, a mighty hand again. Yes, he is. And by terrors. Yeah. And by war. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because it's going to be in World War III when the Lord delivers that's right. Israel. Yeah, we've been in the midst of war. Yeah. Right? Yes. So that's what's going into. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we can show you there's a scripture that say this same thing, but it's talking about was coming right right so that's in Isaiah chapter 1 Isaiah chapter 1 verses 7 I mean 27 27 and 28 okay Isaiah chapter 1 verse 27 Zion shall be redeemed with judgment and her converse with righteousness 28 and the destruction of the transgressor of the sinner shall be together and they that forsake the Lord shall be consumed see so those who don't keep his laws will be consumed wow 
Yep. Right? Yep, gonna happen. Because that's what it means to to forsake the Lord. Right. Right? Yeah. And so, baby, I need to give you a precept for that. Good. That's in uh, Deuteronomy 8, 8, 8, 11. What does it mean to really seek the Lord, right? Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy, chapter 8, verse 11. Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy Elohim and not keeping his commandments, his, stat his judgment, his statute, which I command thee this day. See? Yeah. Wait a minute. That's what I, is that what I wanted? Because mm. it don't sound like the verse. Let me see. Yes, Deuteronomy 8, 11, right? Yeah, 8, 11. Yeah, yeah so you forget. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. We did. So we did it right. Yeah. So that, what it means to seek the Lord, you got to keep his commandments. True. Not just saying, I'm praying. <laughs> right? Yeah, you got to do more. Yeah. You got to keep his commandments. True. That's what it means to seek the Lord, right? Yes. And that's when it goes back, go back to uh, Isaiah uh, 1, 28, I mean 27, 28. Okay. Isaiah, Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 27. Zion shall be redeemed with judgment, and her covered with righteousness. 28. And the destruction of transgressor of the sinner shall be together, and they shall forsake, forsake the Lord, shall be consumed. So this is going into what's going to happen. Right. What's coming. So we show you that it's, it, what was happening in the past yeah. is going to happen again. True. Right? Yeah. And that's what that's going into. And it's another scripture in Ezekiel that goes with that. Uh -huh. Let me find it. Yeah, it's in Ezekiel 20 and 33. 20, 33. Ezekiel chapter 20 verse 33 As I live, said the Lord Elohim, surely with a mighty hand and with a stretch out arm and with fury pour out will I rule over you. See, fury pour out, that's talking about the plagues. That's right. That's talking about war and all these things that's going to be coming. Yeah. So when he, and when he's talking about he's going to rule over us, he's bringing us into the wilderness right. to deliver us. Yes. Just like he did in the first time with Moses. True. Right? Yeah. And he delivered us from Egypt. Yep. Right? Yeah. So, same thing. Sure is. Right? Yep. So, that, what are we going to? Now, let's go to Ezekiel 36. Ezekiel 36. Verse 24. 24. 25. All the way to 27. Okay. 24 to 26? Or the 23? All the way to 27. Is the 23 started? So it's uh, chapter 36 at Ezekiel, we start at 24. Okay. And go up All to, the way uh, to 25. I got 25, 26, 26 27. 27. Okay. Okay, you said 26, uh, 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 chapter 36. Oh, yeah, chap 36. Okay, chapter, chapter 30, 36. Yeah. Verses 24 to 27. Oh, okay. 20. Oh, I got 21. Oh, wait a minute. Go to chapter 36. Oh. Yeah. So this right here, all y'all, this all goes into the wilderness. Okay. All these that I'm giving you. Okay, so chapter 36. Yeah, chapter 36. Okay. Ezekiel, chapter 36, verse 24. For I will take you from the mountain of heathen and gather you out of all the country and will bring you into your own land. 25. Then will I sprinkle plain water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness, 
and from all your idols will I cleanse you. 26, a new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. 27, I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statue, and you shall keep my judgment and do them. So all that's taking place there in the wilderness. Yep. Right? Yep. And then I wanted to go to Jeremiah 23, 24, but I see I need to start out with Jeremiah 3.15. 3.15. 3.15. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15 I will give you a pastor according to my heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. See? Now we got the precept. Go to Jeremiah 23 4. He said he'll give you pastors after his own heart. He'll feed you with knowledge and understanding. What is the knowledge? The law, right? Right. So what? Go to Jeremiah 23 4? Yeah, 23 4. Okay. Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 4. I will set up shepherd over you which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, said the Lord. See? Now I give you precept because the Lord who's giving me this is putting on me. So when you go to Jeremiah 23, 24, you set up shepherds. So you go to Jeremiah, I mean not Jeremiah, but Revelation 14. So it's 144,000, right? Uh -huh. Those will be your shepherds. Yes. So they're going to be out there in the wilderness teaching with Christ. Got it. All right. Right? Yeah. Because the Bible, this scripture said that they follow Christ wherever he go. Okay. They're the first fruit. So uh, what verse? Chapter so two? it's 14.4. 14, 14.4. Four. Wait, that's still in Jeremiah? Oh, in Revelation. Oh. Revelation chapter 14, verse 4. Revelation chapter 14, verse 4. These are they which are not defiled with women, but they are virgin. These are they which follow the Lamb wherever he goes. These are redeemed from among men, being the first fruit unto Elohim, to the Lamb. See, a lot of people don't know what it means. Uh they are virgins. It means they are pure. Right. The law made you pure. True. That's what that means. Yeah. They're not defiled. Right. Right. Yeah. And the end is talking about these which be they the not defiled with women philosophies. Right. Their philosophies. And yes. Christianity and true. All these other philosophies of the world. Yeah. That was so that's yeah. what that's going into. True. Right. Yeah. And so it said that they are the first fruits of the, of the Lord. Yes. Of the Lamb yeah. and of the Most High, right? Yeah. And they follow him everywhere he go. True. They're going to follow Christ everywhere he go. So they're going to be in the wilderness with Christ. Yeah. Teaching. True. Israel. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's what the Lord put on me. He said, so that, that scripture said that he's setting up shepherds. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. And so if you see this going there, shepherd up shepherds. And go to uh, Isaiah 49. And I think it's 23 on one. Let me look at it again. Okay. Isaiah 49, verse 1. Oh, yeah. Go to, go to uh, chapter 49. And we want to get verse 9 and verse 10. All this is going into all this. <coughs> Isaiah chapter 49 verse 9. That thou mayest say unto the prisoner, Go forth to them that are in darkness. Show yourself. They shall be in the ways, and their pastors shall be in all high places. 10. They shall not hunger nor thirst. Neither shall the heat nor sun smite them. For he that have mercy on them, shall lead them 
even by the springs of water shall he guide them. So this is all talking about Christ feeding them in the wilderness. Yeah. When you go to verse 9, it's still talking about the same thing because it said, Thou mayest say to the prisoners. Who's the prisoners? It's uh, Israel. Right. Because prisoners speaks about captivity. True. And then it said, Go forth to them that are in darkness. Because we in darkness. Yeah. Show yourselves they shall feed in the ways. Because he won't feed us. Right. He's going to feed us the truth. Right. Because the Bible, if you go on, he said that we had no shepherd. True. But he's going to deliver us. He's going to bring us into the wilderness. Yes. Then he's going to feed us the truth. Yeah. There. Right? True. That's what this is all going into right yes. here. And then if you go to Revelation, Revelation 7, the last verse, it says the same thing. Okay. Chapter 7, verse 17. Yeah. Oh, you can start out with 16. 16. Okay, six, remember, right. remember 16 was True. quoted out of Isaiah, remember? Right. Out of Isaiah 49. Exactly. Yeah. So 16 and 17. Yeah. Okay. Revelation chapter 7, verse 16. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall be sunlight on them, nor any heat. Something for the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them, and shall lead them into the living fountains of water, and Elohim shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. See? See what it says? It, says, it shall be no, no sunlight on them. Yeah. That's going into the philosophies right. of the nations. Yeah. Also in affliction. Oh, you true. won't be afflicted no yeah, more. You won't be afflicted, right. Right? Yeah. So that's all talking about, you know, when yeah. Christ feed us and bring us into there. Yeah. All that's going to be put to him. True, yeah. On that day. True is. Right? Yeah. So right there. So we're going to, it's more precepts. Okay. So I covered the uh, 14, right? Yeah. And Revelations 4. Uh, so. No, wait is it Revelation 4? Oh, no, not Revelation 4, but Revelation 14, 4. We already covered yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, right? we got that, yes. So let's go. Yeah, let's go back to 49 in Isaiah. Okay. Chapter 49, verse 10 again. Isaiah, 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 chapter 49, yeah, verse 9. Okay, I mean, you're already yeah, 49, verse 9. 9, okay, yeah, 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 y'all got 10? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 9 and 10. So, 49, 10, yeah, yeah. Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 9, that thou mayest say to the prisoner, go forth to them that are in darkness, show yourself, they shall be in the ways, and their passage shall be in all high places. 10, they shall not hunger, nor thirst, Neither shall the heat nor sun smite them, for he that have mercy on them shall lead them. Even by the springs of water shall he guide them. So now go to uh, precept, Isaiah 43, 8, verses 8 and 9. 43, Isaiah 8 to 9. Isaiah 43, 8 to 9. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 8. Bring forth the blind people <clears throat> that have eyes and the deaf that have ears. 9. Let all the nations be gathered together and let the people be assembled who among them can declare this and show us formal things. Let them bring forth their witness, witnesses that they may be justified or let them hear and say it is true. See? It would say, bring forth the blind people that they have eyes. Yeah. So that lets you mean that a lot of our people will go there right. blind, but their eyes will be open. True. Right? Yeah. See? 
Yeah, he's going to open his eyes. And see, some people might get it kind of mixed up because mm -hmm. it said, let all the nations be gathered. Oh, yeah. And so we got a precept for that. Good. If you go to uh, Deuteronomy, it's in, oh, you can go to Deuteronomy chapter 427. 427. That's the precept too. Yeah. Because it said that he would scatter us, right? Right. Among all nations. True. So Deuteronomy 427. <clears throat> Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 27. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nation, and ye shall be left few in numbers among the heathen, whether the Lord shall lead you. See? And then uh, uh, 64 is another verse for the precept for that too. Yeah, uh, was that 2864? Yeah. Well, you scatter you, but yes. then you will worship gods of wooden stone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Chapter 28, verse 64. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there is, thou shalt serve other Elohim, which neither nor thy father had known, even wood and stone. See? Yeah. So that's letting you know that we've been scattered among the nations. So when it goes in Isaiah 43, 8 and 9, when it says, let all the nations be gathered together, mm -hmm. he's talking about Israel that's been scattered all over. True. Right? Yeah. Because it was a nation. That's right. We was. Right? Yes. And so even the tribes within themselves are nations. That's right. Right? Yes. So you got the tribe of Judah. You got the tribe of yeah. uh, Benjamin. Yeah. Issachar. That's right. And you got the uh, Levites. Yes. So every tribe is a nation. Sure. God to right? the Bible. Yes. Yes. So when he's talking about that, the nations. That's right. Right? Yeah. Twelve nations. Yeah. So now let's go to Isaiah 52 and verse 6. Isaiah 52, verse 6. So this is all talking about the wilderness, y'all. Yes. These scriptures, uh, that's what this scripture is getting into. Uh -huh. See, most people don't realize these scriptures are scattered out over the Bible. Sure is. That's why he said precept must be up on precept. Right. And pre uh, line here, there, yeah. a little there, right? Yeah. So that's why you got to do it, right? True. You got his eyes there. Okay, Isaiah. Chapter 52, verse 6. Okay, got it there. Isaiah, chapter 52, verse 6. Therefore, my people shall know my name. Therefore, they shall know in the day that I am he that does speak. Behold, it is I. So he said in that day, Meaning on the day he gathered us right. and bring us in the wilderness, yeah. and he said he's going to plead with us there. Right. Then he said also he's going to show us all our transgressions. Yep. Then he also going to show us Christ yep. and the things that he suffered. Right. We were looking to see his wounds, mm -hmm. and we will mourn on that day. Yes. It's going to be a great morning. It'll be a great morning. See? I mean, we'll all be crying. <laughs> so when he's talking about that day, yeah. he's talking about that day when he gathered us. Right. And so, because a lot of our people don't believe he speak. Yeah. But he said on that day, yeah, he said. you will know that I am he that speak. That's right. Because the most high, Christ is going to plead before you face to face. True. Yes. I'm just telling you what the scripture says. Yeah, right. What the Bible says. Yes. If you don't believe that, then we got a problem. Yeah, but there <laughs> If you don't believe that, we got a problem. Oh, yeah, we got a problem. Yeah. Because they you should know? know better. Yeah. Because these are not my words. Uh, exactly. Yeah. So now we covered that. Let's go to Isaiah 29. Isaiah 29. Verse 18 and 19. Okay, 
Isaiah chapter 29, verse 18. And in that day shall the deaf hear the words of the book, and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of the darkness. 19. The meek also shall increase their joy in the Lord, and the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Yeshua. See? And I believe all this is going, is taking place in the wilderness. Yes. And, and we can go back to Hosea 2 and 14 to show you that. Okay. You know? Right. And I'm not going to knock that. You know, there's going to be a, pretty much about people that will wake up here. Yeah. But as many of us are not going to wake up here, though. That's true. Most of us are going to wake up there. That's right. And when the Lord plead up, plead was there. That's when they're going to wake up. Yeah. You know? Yep. Yes, we know that two-thirds should go. Yep. But also, we know the Lord, he said he's going to plead with us. That's right. Right? Yep. Who's there? Chapter 2, yeah. verse 13. I will visit up upon her the days of Belian, wherein she burned incense to them, and she decked herself with the earrings and the jewels. And she went after her lovers, and forgot me, said the Lord. 14, 34, Behold, I will allure her, and bring her into the wilderness, and speak comfortably unto her. See? So when you speak comfortably, that's him teaching the law to right. us. Yeah. And he'll allure her, he's talking about Israel, yep. into the wilderness. Yep. Right? Yep. And we go back to the precept, go back to Ezekiel 36. Uh -huh. this, this lines up with all this. So start out with 24, 25, 26, 27. Okay. And this time we're gonna come to go to uh, twenty-eight too. Twenty-eight, okay. Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Uh, yeah. no, uh, uh, Isaiah. Oh, Ezekiel. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, you're right. Is Ezekiel? My, my bad. Ezekiel, Ezekiel twenty-six. Thirty-six. Okay, he said. Uh, Ezekiel. Yeah. Chapter thirty-six, verse twenty-four up to twenty-eight. Quiet over there. He's quiet. Car, shit, dog. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 24. For I will take you from the money heathen and gather you out of the country and will bring you into your own land. 25. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean. From all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. 26. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put it within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. 27. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statue, and ye shall keep my judgment and do them. 28. You shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers. And ye shall be my people, and I will be your Elohim. So when you say he would, he would take you from the heathen, meaning taking you from the nations right. that he would been scattered among, right? Yeah. And then when he said he would sprinkle clean water on you, mm -hmm. that's him teaching the law. That's right. And I give you a precept for that. It's yeah. in the Saint John, the Gospel of John, fifteen and verse three, where Christ says, 15, verse 3. "You're clean by the word he's spoken." Okay. The Gospel of John, chapter 15, verse 3. Now ye are clean through the word which I speak unto you. See, right there. So that's going into Ezekiel 36, where you say he will sprinkle clean water on you. Yeah. So when he's teaching you the law, yeah. you should be cleansed. Right. That's for those who will obey. Yeah. Yeah. And take heed. True. Right? Yeah. So that's going into that. So we do we uh, do we already read uh, uh, twenty eight and thirty six chapter thirty six in Ezekiel? Yeah, we get it. Yeah. All right. So yeah. we can go to now. We can go to Mac High seven chapter seven verse nineteen and twenty. Okay. Yeah. Micah. Ma Micah. Micah. Chapter what? Seven nineteen seven. and twenty. Nineteen twenty.
Micah chapter 7, verse 19. He will turn again and he will compassion upon us. He will subdue our iniquity and thou will cast all their sin into the depth of the sea. 20. Thou will perform the truth to Jacob and the mercy to Abraham, which thou shalt sworn unto our father for the days of old. So this right here, when he's talking about he will cast his sins as my Israel, right? Uh, yeah. And to see this is happening on that day. Yeah. In the wilderness. Right. Because that's what the Lord's going to bring the fullness of your salvation there. Right. Also, he's going to clean house there. Sure is. He's going to get rid of all the unclean spirits. That's right. He's going to get clean. He's going to get rid of all the false prophets. Yes. And I hate to say it, some will be put to death. That's right. Oh. Um, Eradicated. Eradicated. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what that means? You know? Oh, yeah. And so it's a scripture. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So if you don't like it, it's just it's in the Bible. Yeah, it's in the Bible. Yeah. You can look it for yourself. Yes. Go through it yourself. True. Right? Yeah. But we give you the precept, they line up on line, right? Mm -hmm. Precept on precept, right? Yeah, sure did. So this right here, and then I'll show you it's precept for this. Because he said that their sin be cast into the sea of forgiveness, right? Yeah. So the, cause the Lord's getting rid of that on that day, y'all, on your wilderness. Yes, he will. I don't know if your pastor knew that. No, you know, your pastor didn't know that. No, yeah. It's on the day of the wilderness when he gather us. Right. Take us in the wilderness. Yes. He's going to plead. It's going to be there. Yeah, it's going to be there. Right? Yes. It's in Zechariah. Goes Zechariah is another precept for this. It's in Zechariah chapter 13, verse 1, 2, and 3. verse 1. In that day there should be a fountain open to the house of David and to the inhabitant of Jerusalem for sin and for uncleanness. 2. It shall come to pass in that day that the Lord of hosts that I will cut off the names of the idols out of the land and they shall no more be remembered. And also I will cause the prophets and the unclean spirit to pass out of that land. See? 3. It shall come to pass that when all, when any shall yet prophesy, then his father and his mother shall beget him, shall say unto him, Thou shalt not live, for thou speakest lying in the name of the Lord, and his father and his mother that beget him shall trust him through when the prophesies. See, the Lord's cleaning the house on that day. Yeah, there's going to be some house cleaning. So you're talking about it's a fountain for the house of, you know, the inhabitants of David and Jerusalem. So it's talking about all Israel. True. Because the Lord's going to purge it, yeah. purge sin out. Yeah, sure is. He's going to get rid of it. Yeah. Right? Yeah, there. Right. It's going to be a... And this uh, day when he pleased with us and with us. Yeah. It's so uh, the Bible. Yep, house cleaning. Right? So, <laughs> yeah. And so am I coming out of the Bible? Yes. So I'm coming out of the Bible. Yeah. These are scriptures in the Bible. Yeah. Sure is. Right? Yes. So that's what it's saying, right? Yeah. And so we go to, let's go back to Hosea chapter 2. Now, uh, I'm, we didn't go to 16, did we? No, no. Yeah, go to 16 and 17. Oh, chapter 2, right? Yeah, chapter 2. 16 and 17. Yeah, Hosea chapter 2, verse 16 and 17. Hosea chapter 2 verse 16. It shall be at that day, said the Lord, that thou shalt call me Ish, and shall call me no more Balaam. For I will take away the names of Balaam out of the mouth, and they shall no more be remembered by their name. So all that's taking place on that day. 
Yeah. Because the Lord is really cleaning the house. Sure is. Down that day. That will be house cleaning. Yeah. See? Yeah. And so, he get rid of a lot of stuff. Sure is. Right? Yeah. So it's going to take place in that day. Yeah. Well, those people say, what day are you talking about? The day we talking about when he got you and bring you into the wilderness. True. That's what we're talking about. It's yeah. in the scripture. Yeah, that day. Yeah. The scripture tells you that. Sure it is. Because he said, he said on that day, it also said, and we brought it out. He said, on that day, you should know that I am he that speak. Right. Because meaning he's going to plead with you face to face. Sure is. Meaning he's going to teach you the law. Yes. Right? Yeah. And he's going to show us many things. Yeah, many. Right? Yes. There. Yes. Also, if you know this, Hebrew, if you go to Hebrews uh, chapter 8, 8, all the way to verse 12, this also connects with that. 8 to 12. Because that's when that new covenant is going to keep in also, right? All right. Because he's going to make a new covenant with us in the wilderness. Yes. Right? Yeah. You covered it with Judah and, and Israel, right? Yeah. So it go from uh, from eight to twelve. Yeah. Okay. So that's going to take place on that day too, right? In yep. the wilderness. Yep. What did the first covenant take place at? Well, oh, the first time uh, in the wilderness. Right. Yep. Both sides doing the same thing. Sure is. Same thing. Christ doing the same thing. Yep. Right. Yep. Hebrews chapter 8, verse 8. For binding forth with them, he said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Yahshua and with the house of Judah. Not, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not, by, not in my covenant, and I regard them not, said the Lord. 10. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Yahshua after, the, after those days, said the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts, and I will be their Elohim, and they shall be to me my peop me a people. 11. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor or every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. 12. For I will be merciful to the unrighteous, and their sin and their iniquity will I remember no more. So we all, we went into the scripture that, that said that, right? Yes. That he said he will not remember your sin no more. Right. And we went into uh, Micah 7, yes. 19 and 20. Yes. And so all that's taking place on that day. Sure is. On that that he will cast your sins into the sea. Yes. On that day. And that day. Yes. And then he go and then it goes to precept with Zechariah thirteen one. Yeah. Then you're gonna have a fountain there. Yeah. For the inhabitants of Jerusalem. True. Right? Yeah. And the Lord's gonna purge out all of that. Yeah. So pretty much the fullness of salvation is taking place on that day. Sure is. Because the Lord's going to get rid of sin. Yes, he is. And that's it. You know? Yeah. Make somebody, might, somebody might say this, and I know, because they hear it, they may look at us and see us teaching this. Mm -hmm. I thought he did it on the cross. No. Yes, he did. Yeah, well, true. There was yeah. a process. Yeah. yeah. But it's also, the, I don't know if you look into the other scriptures, y'all. Yeah. Did y'all see that most of these other prophecies will be fulfilled. That's right. In the fullness when Christ comes back. Right. That's when Christ comes back. Yes. So when he comes back, he's going to gather his elect from all the four winds. Sure is. That's Israel. Yep. So that's when he's going to take us into the wilderness. Yep. Yeah. That's what we are showing you. Right. That's going to take place. Yes. And so you can say, oh, I ain't teaching you. Uh, you teach it wrong. Well, it's in the Bible. Yeah, it's in the Bible. And we show you all, I'm showing you all the verses. Yeah. It's right here. Sure is. Right? Yes. Cause I know how some people is. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, 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 that. <laughs> yeah. Read it for yourself. Yeah, read for yourself. And so right here we showing you, right? Mm hmm So, but I know everybody not gonna believe, so I'm not we're not trying to get the ones who don't believe. True. We know the ones out there right. that will believe. Yes. And see it. Yes. You know? Sure do. So right here we lay that out. Yeah. 
Now we we got to go back to Ezekiel 36. Ezekiel 36. And go to start with 25. These three verses, 25, 26, and 27. Okay. Twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. Is this good, y'all? Yes, it is. And can y'all see it now? Yes, it as, is. As we yeah. are, we putting the scriptures together. Yeah, I see the wilderness. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Ezekiel chapter thirty six, verse twenty five. Then will I sprinkle water, clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols. Will I cleanse you? Twenty six. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you the heart of flesh. 27. And I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statue, and ye shall be, ye shall keep my judgment and do them. See? Right there. Yeah. Keep his statutes, right? Yeah. Walk in and keep them. True. So now let's go back to Zechariah 13 and verses 3 and 4. 13 verse 3 and it shall come to pass that when any shall yet prophesy then his father and his mother shall beget him say unto him thou shalt not live for thou speakest lie in the name of the Lord and his father and his mother that beget him shall thrust through when he prophesied for it shall come to pass that in that day that the prophet shall be ashamed Every one of his vision when he is prophesied, neither shall they wear a rough garment to deceive. So the Lord's cleaning the house on that day. Yes, he is. And getting rid of false prophets, yes. unclean spirits, yes. all of that sin. All of that mess. Go sit down over there. So right here, this is scripture. We also show you Luke 19, 27. Luke 19. This goes into that too. 19, verse 27? Yeah. Okay. 19, okay. 19, 27. Luke 19, 27. This also shows you the low clean house, right? Yeah. Luke chapter 19 verse 27. But those my enemy which, which was not that I shall rank over them, bring them hither and slay them before me. See? <laughs> so there's going to be people put to death. Yeah. So that goes into the Pharisees and all of them who didn't want him to bring them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. See? So, all, so it goes together, don't it? Yes, it does. I'll show you. Because the Lord's getting rid of all the false prophets. Yep. Those who didn't rank, want him to rank them. That's right. He's going to get rid of those too. Right? <laughs> yep. Yes, indeed. So now let's go to Isaiah 25 and 8. This goes with it too, to let you see it. Isaiah 25 eight. Isaiah 25 eight. Because this also show you that there's a veil over the people, right? Yes. But this also show you when Christ comes back, that veil is going to be taken off. Okay. Right? Yeah. yeah okay. Isaiah chapter 25 verse 8. He will swallow up death and victory, and the Lord Elohim will wipe away tear from all, all faces, and the buke of his people shall he take away, 
from off all the earth, for the Lord hath spoken it. So this is going to be, because it's a veil over the people. Yes. They can't see. They can't see it. They're blind. Right. Right now. Yeah. But when he he comes back, yeah. he's going to take that off. And when it's talking about, he's going to take away the rebuke from his people, that's going into Deuteronomy 28, the curses. Yeah. Because it's a curse on the people. Sure is. And the animals as well. Yeah. Because if we go into uh, chapter 2 in Hosea, the Lord making a covenant, right? Yeah. He talk about the bowl, right? Yeah. That's when he take the curse off the animals. True. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Lord's going to take all that. He's going to remove all that when he comes back. Yep. Right? Yep. And so this is all tied in together. Right? Yep. So we know he swallowed up death from victory. That's when he, got, he died right. for us. Yes. On the cross. Yeah. But he's going to bring the, he's going to fulfill everything when he comes back. Yeah. Right? Yes. So that's what that's going into. Going into the wilderness, everything, right? True. So, in Jeremiah, if you go to Jeremiah, also ties into this uh, chapter 30, verse 8 and 9. 39, 38 and 9 and Jeremiah chapter 30. Okay. Jeremiah, <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 8. For it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord of hosts that will break his yoke from off thy neck and I will burst thy bonds and the Spanish shall no, no more serve themselves of him. 9. But they shall serve the Lord their Elohim and David their king whom I will raise up unto them. So he's, he's talking about when Christ comes back, yeah. he's breaking the yoke off of us because we still serving our enemy. Sure is. Yeah, we still in captivity. Yes. So be oh, you're not in captivity. It's good to share. It shows you. That's right. Right? Yeah. This is going to happen when Christ comes back. Yeah. He said he's breaking the yoke off of your neck. That and you then you will serve your king. Right. Mean you're going to serve Christ. Right. Right? Yeah. Instead of, you know. Instead of your oppressor. Right. Right? Yeah. So also Sephaniah three fifteen goes into that too. Is that Zion chapter three verse nineteen? Uh, three fifteen. Oh, three fifteen. Sephaniah three fifteen. Sephaniah. Yeah. Ready, ready? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 15. The Lord had taken away the judgment. He had cast out thy enemy. And the king of Yahshua, even the Lord, is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil no more. Say when he said he had taken away your judgments, that's still talking about the curses. Yes. Of Deuteronomy 28. Right. It hasn't happened yet, but it's, it's going to come when Christ comes. True. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that, that says the same thing. Guess what? It's saying the same thing in Revelation 22, 3. Let's go to Revelation 22, 3. Revelation chapter 22 verse 3 and there shall be no more curse 
but the throne of Elohim and of the land shall be in it, and his servant shall serve him. So that's talking about the curse of Deuteronomy, right? Yep. Because the curse is on us. On us. True. Because then the scripture said it should be on you for a sign. Yeah. Prayer. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So he took the curses, right? True. So it's coming from Deuteronomy. Yep. So you go to, uh, it starts with 25, 8. We show you he going to take away the rebuke of his people. Then you go to 30 and 8 and 9. Yeah. He'll break the yoke off of you. Yep. You go to 7, 9, 15. Re take away your judgments. Yep. 23, I mean 22 in Revelation 3. Yeah. Be no more cursed. Yeah. Right? Yeah, they're all talking the same thing. Yeah. Same thing. Yes. Right? Yes. Now we show you, still we're going to tell you, show you the curses being removed. That's right. Hosea 2 and 18. 2 and 18. 2 and 18. They're all saying the same thing. Wow. Yeah. So this is going into the animals that tell you about the curse of being on it, right? Yes, yes it does. Hosea chapter 2 verse 18 and in that day will I make a covenant with them with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of the air and with the creepy things of the ground and I will break the bow and the sword of the battle of the earth and I will make them lie down safely see this make them make lie down safely and guess what it's a precept that goes to that again uh -huh. and it's talking about the animals the Lord said with the lion right yeah the lamb, yeah. the leopard. So you go to Isaiah chapter 11 and verses 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay. And see, your pastor's not going into this. No, they're not. They're showing you this, right? Not at all. Sit over there. Go sit down. Isaiah? Yeah, yeah. Isaiah chapter 11? Yeah, I got it. Sit down. Verse 6 to 9? Yeah. yeah okay, I got it. Isaiah chapter 11, verse 6. The wolf also shall go with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf, and the young lion, and the fat lean together, and a little child shall lead them. 7. And the cow and the bear shall feed. Their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. Eight. And the suckling child shall play on the hole of a S S. And the winged child shall put his hand on the copper tree and den. Nine. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the water covers the sea. See how that precept go together, and we yeah. I like the precept of this this together because it goes together. It sure does. Go to uh, 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 Numbers fourteen twenty one. Fourteen twenty one. Numbers. It's a Bible like a puzzle, ain't it? It sure is. Good thing to put them together. Yeah. Numbers chapter 14, verse 21. But as truly as I live, all the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord. See, and I appreciate it go with that. It's whole back up 214. 214.
Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 14 for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea so that's why the animals are not going to hurt each other yeah because his laws is covering the earth right because that remember we read that in uh, uh, Isaiah 11 yeah and they shall not hurt all in his holy mountain right because the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the Lord. Yes. The laws of the Lord. The laws, yes. Right? Yes. And here's a, and there's another precept for the animals again. Yeah. It's in Isaiah 65 and 25. 65 and 25. Isaiah chapter 65 verse 25. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. The lion shall eat straw like the bullet, and thus shall be the serpent's meat. They shall not hurt nor destroy in my in all my holy mountain, said the Lord. So when he said they're gonna eat straw, that's that's grass. Yes. So they're going back to being vegetarian. Right. Right? Yes. So nobody gonna be killing no meat, yes, killing another animal, ain't gonna yeah. kill another animal. Yeah, all be the Lord said they're going to do it safe, safely. Yeah. Right? Yes. And it tell you what is going to be their meat. Straw. That's, that's right. grass. Yep, grass. So that's being a vegetarian. True. Right? Yeah. So you see the scriptures is going back to the original to the original order. That's right. Because right now things are out of order. That's right. Out right? Of order. Yeah. Because we can show you that. That's in uh, Job 10. Job 10. Can I tell you that everything's out of order? Yeah, sure is. Everything's out of order. Uh, you want to get both of them? 21 yeah. to 22? Yeah, both of them, yeah. All right. Job chapter 10, verse 21. Before I go hence, I shall not return, even the land of darkness and the shadow of death. 22. A land of darkness and darkness itself, and of the shadow of death without any order, where the light is as darkness. See? Yeah. No order, but just like we, we why I went back to that scripture, mm -hmm. and we was telling you that everything is going back to the original order. Right. Right? Yeah. Because things are out of order. Sure is. Yeah, I wanted to go. Uh, also, this, you go to uh, Isaiah chapter 2, verse 1 and 2. Chapter 2, verse 1 and 2. Isaiah chapter 2, right? Yeah. And you can go to verse verse three on that too. Okay, one, two, and three, right? Yeah. Okay. Isaiah chapter two, verse one. The word that I, Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. Two, and it shall come to pass in that last day that the mountain of the lower house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. Three, and many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of Elohim of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his path. For out of the Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. See? And yeah, go to go to five. Go to five. Yeah, that's I want to because I got a precept. I'm gonna go to that. All right. Isaiah chapter two verse four. And he shall judge among the nation and shall rebuke many people, and they shall be beat their sword into the plowshare and their spear into the pruning hooks. 
Nations shall not look up sore against nations, neither shall they learn war anymore. Five, O house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the light of the Lord. So we're walking in his ways and we walk in the light. You can, uh, first we get the precept for light. Yeah. Uh, Proverbs 6, 23. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 23. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and the reproof of instruction of the ways of life. So that's it's the law. Yes. So that's the precept for light. Yes. And now we won't go to the precept for walking in his ways, right? Right. So that goes back to chapter Ezekiel 36. Ezekiel 36. And verse 27. Thirty-six. Thirty-six or twenty-six? Uh, thirty-six and twenty-seven. Yeah. Because that is a precept for walking in his ways. Okay. Ezekiel chapter thirty-six verse twenty-seven. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statue, and ye shall keep my commandments and do them. So he said he will put his spirit in us. Yes. And cause us to walk in his statutes. So that's when you go back to chapter 2 of Isaiah. When it says that we're going to walk in his path. And we're going to walk in his light. Yeah. So that's all in the kingdom. It sure is. Right? Yes. yes. It's all tied together. Don't it? Yes, it These does. scriptures, this, it's like it fits together. Yeah. It's like you putting it together. Like a puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Y'all see how it works? Yeah. Then it joined yeah. together. Yeah. But I want to ask you a question. Yeah. Have you ever uh, been in church and you experienced this? None. No. Nowhere in sight. Have you seen this happen in church? No, never did. You ever, and I can say, I have never seen it either. Never. Because most of them I see is confusion because they, yeah. they just pick a scripture and don't know what, no tidy. Yeah. No back, it's just out there. Yeah. <laughs> see, precept, also when you put precept together, yeah. it also shows and expose false doctrine. Right. Yeah. Yes, it does. It exposes false Yes, teaching. it does. And it exposes a lot of flattery. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It. Yep, a lot of flattery. I can give you a good chapter for that. That's yeah. uh, Psalms chapter 5, verse 9 and 10. That's 5, 9, and 10. Speaking a lot of flattery because there's flattery. no law in their mouth. True. Uh -uh. Yeah, uh, chapter 5. Nine and ten. Psalms chapter five, verse nine. For there is no fitness in the mouth, no inward part is very wicked, and the throat is an open sucker, and they are plattering with their tongue. Ten. The see, story. stop it there. Okay. When you read that, then we go on. I just want to see. Remember when you see it, it said their tongue is up and subscribe? Yeah. That speaks a lot of flattery? Yeah. Because subscribe, that's great you are. That's right. <laughs> right? Yeah. Then it said that there's no faithfulness in their mouth. The right. precept for, uh, for faithfulness yes. is Psalms 119 and verse 86 because it tells you the commandments is faithful. So he's telling you that there's no law in their mouth. Right. When he's talking about there's no faithfulness in their mouth. Right. I just wanted to stop there and, okay. you know, and Break that down. Yeah. But some people don't understand that. True. Okay, one more question. Yeah. Continue? Okay. Psalm chapter 5, verse 10. Destroy thou them, O Elohim. Let them fall by their own counsel. Cast them out of the multitude of their transgression, for they have rebelled against thee. So there's those who rebelled, meaning they're not keeping the commandments. Right. And many of them are going to fall by their own their own counsel. Right. Right? Yeah. In, a, in that first verse, the nine verse, it says speaking flattery. Yeah. Because yeah. there's no law in her mouth. Yeah, flattery. Right? Yeah. A lot of flattery. <laughs> yeah, a lot of flattery. So this is uh, so this is good. We show you 
the wilderness and we when we did it by scripture. True. We didn't come out of our own heart. That's right. And speak it. Right. Right? No flattery. <laughs> we showed you out of scripture. Yes. Right? Yes. Because also the scripture, it's a scripture that says that too. Also, if you go to uh Jeremiah 23, 16. Jeremiah 23, 16. Jeremiah, chapter 23, verse 16. Thus said the Lord of hosts, Hearken not unto the words of the prophet that prophesied unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. See, the scripture said, Hearken not to the prophets that speak out of their own heart. Meaning yeah. they're not coming out of the scriptures. Right. Right? Yeah. And so they make you vain. Yeah. Because it's not coming out of the mouth of the Lord. True. Right? Yeah. Now we want to tie these up. With uh, ending with these couple of verses, because okay. we know we went into the kingdom, right? Right. We went into uh, the wilderness and all that. Yeah. So we will show you. Go to Isaiah. Uh, I believe it's chapter sixty. Yeah, I like to start out with verse 19. 19? Then we'll go to 20. Okay. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 19. The sun shall no more be thy light by day, neither the brightness shall the moon give her light unto thee. For the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy Elohim, thy glory. 20. Thy sun shall no more go down, neither shall the moon withdraw itself. For the Lord shall be thy everlasting light, and the days of thy morning shall be ended. So when you go to verse 19, when it's talking about the sun shall be no more thy light by day, mm -hmm. that's going into the philosophy of the other nations. True. Right? Yeah. Their knowledge. Yeah, their knowledge. What they're teaching you, right? Right. And so neither for the brightness shall the moon give the light, right? Yeah. Because the Lord's knowledge is going to be in the earth. Right. His laws. Yes. His knowledge. Yes. Right? Yeah. So that's what this scripture is talking about. True. Because you can also precept that with uh, Proverbs 6.23, where it talks about the sun is the light. Yeah. The lamp is the light. Right. It's all meaning the knowledge. That's what's going into the knowledge. Yeah. So when it's talking about the sun, no more thy yeah. light. Yeah. That's what's talking about knowledge. It sure is. It's not really talking about the sun. Right. 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 So we understand that, right? Yeah. So when we go to 20, thy sun shall no more go down, neither shall. Now he's talking to Israel. Yeah. Meaning that we lost our knowledge. Sure did. That's what that's talking about. We lost the knowledge. We lost the true knowledge. Yep. Yeah. And understanding of God's word. True. And of who we are. Right. That's what that's talking about. Thy son, that thy sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. So when it's talking about the, the sun and the moon, it's still talking about knowledge. Yeah. And so you will not lose your knowledge no more. Right. Meaning you won't lose yourself. Right. Meaning you're thinking that you are African American. Yeah. Because <laughs> we a lot of us think we are African American. We sure do. It's like it's car, they think they're Mexicans. Yes, yeah, they do. Right? And yep. whatever we are. Yeah. Whatever they, whatever name they gave us in these captivities. Right. We believe that that's who we are. True. We do. Right. Yep. And whatever language we yep. are speaking, we believe that's our language. That's right. Right. Yep. We do. So this is a prophecy. You said that 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 the sun will not go down no more on you. Uh huh. Meaning you won't lose your knowledge. Right. You won't lose your identity. Yep. That's right. It. Yep. Because we lost our identity. Sure that goes did. back to Deuteronomy twenty-eight. Yep. Right? Yep. That goes into the by words. That's right. That's what those scriptures go into. Yeah, yeah, sure is. Right? Yep. So when it talks about uh and the days of thy morning shall be in it, the morning is us being in captivity. That's right. 
Yeah, you're right. They're our money. Yeah. That's so when Christ pulls us out and delivers us out, yeah. the days of your morning is over. That's right. Right? Yeah. That's morning. what that's talking about. Okay. Right? Sounds good. If we go to Revelations, it speaks the same thing. Remember, uh, we go to Revelations, I think it's 23. Yeah. Oh, me. Not 23, but 22, right? Well, yeah, I think 22. Uh, 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 22, verse 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Revelation chapter 22 verse 5 and there shall no more night there and they need no candle neither light of the sun for the Lord thy Elohim giveth them light and they shall reign forever and ever. Notice when he said there shall be no more night there and we covered uh, Job 10 right. when it said it's nothing but darkness. Yeah. So the darkness is going into sin. Right. So when you're talking about night, yeah. there won't be no more night there. Because what, what did we went to when we showed you that uh, we went to Micah 7, 19. Yeah. Then we went to uh, Zechariah 13. True. And we show you the Lord's cleaning the house, right? That's right. So he's getting rid of sin. Yeah. So he's going to give it all that. That's right. So that's showing you it won't be no more night there. Right. Sin. Yeah, sin. Right? Yeah. So he get rid of it? Yeah, he's going to put an end to it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. At least I know it's not going to be among Israel. <laughs> right. You know? Yeah. Because if you go back to uh, Isaiah uh, 60, it tells you all your people is going to be righteous. Right. Go back to Isaiah 60. So so somebody might say, oh, ain't going to be one seeing that. Oh, we showing you the scripture. That's right. But the nations when they uh, want to uh, keep the commandments. Right. But they will be put to death. True. Sure. We can show you that. Yeah. Because the Lord said, those who don't obey, that nation will be destroyed. That's right. That's what he said. That's right, yeah. Yes, indeed. Go to Isaiah 60. You want, uh... What is, that scripture said, all your people will be righteous. Oh. Oh, okay, that's 21. Yeah, that one. Okay. So that's going yeah. into the kingdom. Yeah, 60, okay. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 21 Thy people also shall be all righteous they shall inherit the land forever the branches the branch of my planting and the works of my hand that I may be glorified see right there yeah see and also go to 22 okay this is always this is also the kingdom too all right Isaiah chapter 60 verse 22 For a little one shall become a thousand and a small one a strong nation. I the Lord way hasten it in this time. See right it's there. Time. All that. So yeah. just like I said there won't be no sin. Yeah. Because he said right here he said all your people will be righteous. Yeah. All. All of them. Yes. Right in the kingdom. Yeah. I know we're not righteous now. No, we're not. But in that kingdom. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because the Lord going to get rid of a lot yeah. of stuff. Yeah, he sure is. You know? Yeah, he's cleaning the house. He's cleaning the house about that. <laughs> yeah. And we have showed you through scripture that that's, that's taking place. True. Right? Yeah. And so right there. So if we're showing you through scripture and showing you what's going to happen. Yeah. That should make you say, oh, I got to get myself ready. That's right. Sure. Right? Yeah. So also, uh. There's a verse coming to me. Let's see if I'm finding it. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, Isaiah 65, verse 24. Because I heard some Christians quote this, uh -huh. but they don't know this is not talking about now. This is going into the kingdom. Okay. Because they don't know the foundation on earth. Yeah. Concrete. All that, yeah, because that's you know kind of hinders uh -huh. from hearing God's voice, right? Yeah, but the Lord's gonna change the foundation, right? Because oh, okay. He gonna lay them lay them down with stones, right? Precious stones, yeah, it's stones, yeah, right? Yes, yes, He is. He's gonna give us that concrete. 
Yeah, because that concrete kind of hinder. Yes, it does. If you hear the Lord's voice, because this 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 kingdom is laid with concrete. That's right. You're right. But the Lord's going to change that because then the kingdom is going to be laid with precious stones. Yeah. You can read about that in Revelation. Sure. And I believe you can read about it in Isaiah. Yep. Yep. Isaiah 65, verse 24. It shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. So you're not going to have that trouble. Right. You're going to, I mean, you'll hear him automatically. Yeah. The Lord will answer. Yeah. See? That's in the kingdom. Yeah, that's in the kingdom. That's not talking about here. Yeah, no, no, no. Because no. I heard some Christian call it. Yeah, they don't know these scriptures in this Bible right. scattered. Yeah. You have to put them together so rightly. Because it's a scripture that also Paul found in the word. Yeah. He says, study the soul that shall approve yeah. that you be a workman rightly, rightly. dividing the word of truth. Right. Yeah. That goes precept on precept, right. line upon line, which yeah. is coming out of Isaiah 28 and 9. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah, they don't know how to do that. Yeah. So that's what that's doing here, too. Yeah. That's why I had to go there. Right. Right? Yeah. And show that, because I heard some Christians quote that. Mm -hmm. And it said, the Lord will answer your prayer. Yeah, he will. Yeah. But I'm telling you, it's not going to be nothing like it is in the kingdom. Right. Right. Because you're in the kingdom, boom, the Lord will answer quick. Yeah, right there. Boom. Yeah. yeah. That's what it's talking about. Right. Right because there. Right now, they, they ain't getting that real quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See? Yeah. And so, uh, right there, we lay it down. Okay. I think we're pretty much done. I would say so. We we're done, really yeah. We're good. Yep. Was that good? Yeah. All right. I know it's a lot of persons, yes, but is. but it had to be precept. Right. Right. Yeah. That's how we. You had to be precept. You had to put them together. True. Right. Yeah. So well, we're going about to. Yeah. Y'all ready? Yeah. All right. Father, we thank you for that as we see the word clear. Yes. And so, Lord, your word is true. So as we go from here, we pray that you bless the hands of prepare, prepare the food. Bless the food. Bless everyone here. And as we go from here, shalom. Shalom.